Let's get it done. Got the ghillie suit in my bag. Let's go. You're not going to get those out of there. <laughs> oh, what's happening right now? Hey, so we're, uh, we just pulled up to the pull off here. There's a trail going down to our spot where we sat this morning. And, uh, there's some rustling around in the brush. And I didn't see any movement. But I heard what sounded like something with four legs. So, uh, Let's get it done. Well, we're here at the public. 
Let's get this ghillie suit sprayed down. All right, we're out here on the public. Got the ghillie suit in my bag. Gonna do some still hunting on the edge of the corn. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I just walked in this corn edge over here and I found a little trail going from one cornfield to another cornfield right here. This woods is only 30 yards wide, so this looks to be where all the tracks are going. And uh, I'm just going to kind of keep keep pushing back into the, this next cornfield and uh, maybe push a little bit deeper and see if I can't get something cruising in daylight. Stay tuned. field behind us I got a monster oak tree right behind me dropping acorns everywhere I'm on a ridge kind of looking down I'm expecting the deer to come up from the bottoms and uh, head up here towards this cornfield right now the winds in my face which is good and it's gonna switch it's gonna get sucked down with the thermals down this ridge and uh, which is good because it sucks down right here into a creek which kind of sucks it down down away from where they're coming so I'm kind of tucked back into that corner if that makes sense of a ridge where uh, it's not going to get sucked down into the bedding with thermals so uh, we're going to sit tight and I'll show you what I'm looking at stay tuned alright the corn's up there there's my big oak tree dropping acorns and uh, the ridge drops off down there. There's another ridge going up there to another cornfield on that side. And this right here is the tree line that splits them. So I'm kind of sitting where, uh, where three little ridges come together right here on this point. And uh, there's a little little ridge right there that they just cruise. You can just see it from up here. I didn't. I didn't even go down there and look at it. I can just see how torn up it is from here. But, uh, yeah. Waiting on something to come up and hit this corn. So, uh, we're going to sit back, be quiet. So, uh, stay tuned.
see nothing in there on the ridge. There's only about 20 minutes of legal light left, so anything that was down there isn't going to make it up to me in time anyways. I can see 200, 300 yards in there. So uh, I'm just going to creep the edge of this corn back and uh, see if anything has popped out and feeding in the first few rows. So we're going to be quiet, take it slow. This dirt road makes it nice for us, makes us, makes us silent, so maybe we can sneak up on one. All right, stay tuned. It's October 17th here in Ohio. We just had a cold snap come through and uh, we crept some cornfield edges today. Sat a ridge top, didn't see nothing. I got a lot, of, a lot of ag still up around me, a lot of private ag fields kind of behind uh, the private on the other side. So, a lot of opportunities for them to feed. So, once that ag gets cut, pre rut should be kicking in here in a couple weeks. Uh, pinpoint some acorns, some ridges, find the does, you find a buck. So, we're excited. Uh, we got two other crew members out filming, so we're spitting these videos out as fast as we can. They're not all action-packed, but we're just uh, bringing you with us on our season, you know. That's hunting. That's how it goes. Um, yeah, so uh, like, subscribe, stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you in the woods. Uh -huh.